Welcome to another Creo tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll talk to you about how to create curves in in the style tool. Uh, these techniques are useful if you want to model a complicated car or airplane or any other complicated products. So I'll talk about how to snap curves to the ends, how to add control points or remove control points how to create tangencies between two curves so this will help to create a blend between the curves and surfaces and also how to convert some curves to make it editable if it's not so here I'll open an existing file okay so I have a style, style feature here you can create your own style feature by pressing that button but I'll just edit this style tool to make it quick and easy okay so I'll make this bonnet here today I'll qu quickly delete that so to make the bonnet, I'll do a sweep along that line with this curve and I'll show you what tangency means we go to mirror that across and okay so see this line and this line I'll bring that up tangency just means that the line fl flows between the one half and the other so I'll show you how to that, do that. that. That will help make your model look better, more clean. But the first thing we're going to talk about snapping curves. Okay, I'll delete this curve here and I'll draw another curve. So snapping basically you just hold shift and there, I don't know if you see it, there's a crosshair there. That will, sh that will mean, that just means that it's snapped onto the line so I'll hold shift and pr press and it creates the circle so if I were to move that point along it snapped on the line so that's that's very useful if you need to um, model specific curves on the on along the lines so we accept that now the problem with this curve is it's just a straight line from one point to other uh, the other uh, I'll just quickly make it curvy so you go to edit the curves to add points more control points so we can edit the curves we we right click we go add points and make sure these buttons turn on so you can see the control points to delete the points you can right click hold and delete so now you have your control points we can adjust the lines how we need okay so now I'm going to talk to you about tangencies these lines if, we, if you were to make them if you were to make the surface from that line it it won't blend between the surface because it's not tangent this point needs to line up horizontally with this point perfectly to do that we can change the point here or we can go to tangent and change the tangent settings here so I'll change that to vertical and drag these points even if I drag it up and down it will stay tangent to the lines so that looks fine so there's a slight curve on that line now and I'll accept that so I'll, I'll go to create the surface now click on the surface tool so select the rail lines and then select the profile lines so if you look at the picture here that's what it means and accept so there you go, I'm just going to quickly trim trim off the, the edges 
Now for the last part, I'll show you how to con convert some curves to make it edit editable. So if we were to offset this curve, it won't allow us to edit. So I'll make a 30, 30 offset here, except I'll select this curve, click edit, and it won't let you. So how you make this editable, you go to curves and click convert. So convert will convert any line and make it editable. We click the button except and now we go curve edit and there are control points for us to edit the lines. So let's say if I want to change this line to make a different shape to make the windshield, this will help us. Uh, this will help you to do that. So some handy hints if you are working on a car yourself. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. Uh, leave a comment, like the video. Thanks a lot. See you later.